Welcome to another Farming Simulator 19 Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Weed control. As requested by quite a few of my subscribers, um, could I do a video on weed control and weeds? This is it. I am on field 29 on Felsbrunn and I also have the house installed. I'm on my test map as I usually am, that's why there's lots of money up in the corner. Right, on this field what I've got, I've got roughly a third of the field has been subsoiled, so kind of, it's got ploughing state, go away pesky birds, clear off, um, ploughing state but the cultivated finish to it. I've got one section of the field, about a third, which has been seeded, this has been seeded with wheat but nothing's come through the ground yet, and I've got a third of the field which has got an established potato crop in it so this is past its first growth stage so I'm going to show you what's going to happen with all of these sort of elements what I'm going to do is speed up time now I've had a couple of comments about this so I don't know whether you want to do it or not it's entirely up to you um, if I go to uh, right on this menu here so the one that's got the tractor symbol if I scroll all the way down, or all the way back, actually, it doesn't matter which way you go. I like the fact you can go both ways in the menu now. To weeds, it says weeds on, and I had my weeds on anyway. When I tested this, nothing seemed to happen. And somebody had messaged me yesterday to say, on theirs, they turned the weeds off, then back on again, and it worked fine. So, if you want to, turn them off. And if you want to, just progress time just a fraction. Doesn't matter how much. Then go back into the menu. I don't know why I came out of the menu again. Um, and then put weeds back on again. And that way there shouldn't be any issues. It should work perfectly well. Just in case, I don't want you to speed up time to test it out. Or when you're going through your game, then you suddenly find you haven't got any weeds coming through whatsoever. The other thing you need to make sure is that your plant growth is on for a start. Um, when you go to plant growth normal fast off slow if you've got that on off by mistake you won't get any plant growth at all and i don't think the weeds will grow either um so you have to be careful make sure it's on and whatever you normally have it on i'm gonna have it on fast just for the for the sake of this video so come back out and what's gonna happen now is i'm gonna speed up time whether i do a time lapse on it or i'll just jump to it i'm not too sure i'll explain when we get to the next step So here I am just after lunchtime, 12.21, and we have got weeds. These are, the weeds come in two different states. You've got young adults, and then you've got full mature adults. These young adults are like any young adults that hang around outside the local chip shop. They're pesky and they're annoying, but they're fairly easy to get rid of. Sorry, I don't know why I said that, but um, they are fairly easy to get rid of. So when you've got weeds in the first weed state, in their young growth stage, we can use a weeder to get rid of these. No problem at all. So I'm just going to whiz back and I'm going to grab the weeder. Bear with me one second. So I'm at the store. What I'm going to do is show you in the menu. Uh, if we come to uh, weeders. So under the tools section, into weeders, we've got three options. From um, Farming Simulator 17, we've got the Einbock uh, Pneumatic Star 900. I think that was, unless that's a newer version. Um, we've got that one there for 18,000. That's got a width of nine meters, but with that one as well, that will also seed if you want it to. So you can weed and it will put grass, cover crop, and weirdly enough, canola. That's what those three symbols are down there. Anyway, yeah, it'll put those three in the ground if you want it to. If you don't put those in, you don't have to worry. I used a lot on FS17, the Einbock Aerostar Rotation 1200. It's 35,000. Again, you can lease these. You haven't got to buy them. Um, that's got a 12 meter width on it, and that opens right out. That's quite nice. The new one in game is this one here, um, and it's the Treffler, I think it is. Yeah, the Treffler TS. 1520m3 this is a 15.2 meter wide um weeder a little bit like a, a grassland harrow type type thing that kind of thing 
Um, so that's what I've done. I've gone with one of those because I've never used one before. It's new to FS19, so I thought I'd give that a go. So those are your three weeding options. Now remember, you can only weed when the weeds are in their, their first growth state, when they're very, very young. But you can also only weed on a field that's got a crop in it if that crop um, is in its first growth stage. Once it goes past that first growth stage, weeding will have no effect. Now I've just suddenly realised that the crop hasn't started to come through that field. The weeds have grown but the crop hasn't. So I'm going to show you on here first. Oh, maybe they have. Anyway, so let's open this out. I don't want to take off all of this because I want to leave some for... Actually, you know what? If I do it the other way, I'm thinking I want to leave some for the uh, the sprayer to show you that. So, 15... Well, that's quite wide, isn't it? That's impressive stuff. So what will happen now, because these are in their first growth stage, they are young weeds. If I drop this down and drive across, this will basically just rip the weeds out of the ground, takes them out, removes them, does what it needs to do. Now obviously the crop hasn't started growing through on that that part yet, but I can take the weeds out now. So if I've got a crop in the ground, as soon as those weeds come through, I can get rid of them. Get rid of them now, early on. They're no longer a pain, they're no longer in the way. Get rid of them. Now, here's the thing. When I go across this section here, if you note... Now that's peculiar. Oh no, they are still there. I was going to say, it's not working. Because this potato crop is established and it's gone past its first growth stage, the weeds are still here. I cannot weed on a field that's gone past its first growth stage. So then we've got a problem. These weeds now I can't get rid of. So if I've missed a field, if I've forgotten, if it's gone past the first growth stage, using a weeder won't work on an established field. It will work on a field that's newly seeded. It will work on a field that's got its first growth stage, but it won't do anything past that. So the weed has worked fine on the normal field, fine on here, hasn't worked on here. So, let's jump in, fold it up, get that out of the way. So that's your, your younglings, your young weeds in their first state. Now the good thing about this is, and it depends how you want to do it, you can use a sprayer in their first growth stage. You don't have to use a weeder. The beauty of a weeder is it doesn't cost you anything other than the weeder. If you use a sprayer, then you're going to have to be paying for herbicide. So the, the bonus to getting rid of the weeds early is once you've got a weeder, there's no additional cost. It's literally just the weeder, get over there, get rid of them. Of course, if you get into a situation like this, where you've still got them in the ground, the weeder won't work. You need to move on to something a little bit stronger. Now, of course, for the purposes of showing this video, I've gone for the Rubicon 9000 because everyone wants to see the Hardy Boom Sprayer in action. However, there are a lot of other options. Um, so if I go across here into the vehicle section of the store, you've got crop protection. Um, there's the Stara Imperador 3.0. That will do fertilizer, liquid and solid, but it would also do herbicide. That new symbol is the little bottle one. Um, and then you've got the Rubicon 9000, which will do your uh, liquid fertilizer and it will do herbicide as well. If I go now to tools and I go to crop protection, which is here, which is basically your, your sprayers, any of these, so the, the uh, Deltis, the Kuhn Deltis 1302, the new Hardy uh, Mega 2200, the Kuhn Metris 4102, and the uh, Hardy Navigator 6000 will all do liquid fertilizer and herbicide. So you can have any one of these will, will do this job that I'm about to do, but I thought, you know what, let's go with the Rubicon, because, you know, it's cool. So let's jump in it. What we need to do then, oh, actually, before I do that, what I've done is from the same menu, I've got a couple of these. I thought we only need one for what I'm going to do. Uh, they've got the red bottle on there, herbicide, dangerous. Um, it will work on weeds and kill them. Different to a pesticide, because a pesticide kills pests, a herbicide kills off weeds. So I'm going to load this up. I'm only going to load up one of them. 2,000 litres is going to be more than enough for what I need to show. Let's get this fired up and get over to the field.
and I'm on the wrong side of the road. Don't worry. It's all good. So, like I say, you can use the weeder, of course you can. But if you want to go belt and braces right from the offset, a sprayer will work on the young ones. It'll, it'll work on the young ones. And if you've got young ones in an established crop and you can't use a weeder on an established crop, we can use a sprayer. Like I say, this is overkill. I, mean, I could use, easily have used one of the smaller sprayers, but you know, everyone wants to see this thing. Because it's really, really cool. So what I'm going to do now is if I just swing around so I can get in part of this one. So if I turn that on now, as I go over that, you can see they're all going brown. Just here. They're all, they were green, they're now going brown. If I go over the established crop, the ones that were there have now also gone brown. So the brilliant thing with that is if you do have young weeds in an established crop, don't panic and think you can only use a weeder for young weeds. No, you can use the sprayer when they're in their young stage or their old stage and you can use them on established crops as well. So you see now here, they're all brown in between. They're brown on here. Everything is looking peachy. So what we need to do now is move these weeds along a little bit. So I'm going to speed up time again. I will see you in a moment. Um, those cr those weeds, I assume, are either going to stay there in that state, or when it goes on to the next growth stage, they'll just vanish. I assume because they're they're dead. They're going to die off. I think once you've done them, once you've hit them up once, they're not going to come back again. So it's not like something you have to keep doing on a crop. As far as I'm aware. So now I love the way the sun is shining off all those metal parts. You can tell how gleaming and shiny that is. Anyway, I'm going to speed up time. I will see you in a moment when we have some more established weeds. It's just gone 20 past five. And unfortunately, because I'm on Fellsburn and where the field's located, the sun has literally just dipped behind that rocky outcrop with the castle. So we're in a little bit of shade here. But as you can see, we now have established weeds um, these are the adult weeds. Using my analogy from before, these are those adult weeds that are in a bar at closing time and they're really hard to get rid of because they don't want to go. They don't want to go home. They can only be enticed with a kebab. Um, these are going to require something a bit more to get rid of. Um, as we can see, our wheat crop has started to grow and the weeds that were in there from before are still there but they're not causing any more trouble now. They haven't grown through. They're just going to stay there and then once we do the crop, they'll then get cultivated in and disappear. Now, just to prove the point, we'll go and grab the weeder. I know it's that kind of, you know, if you already know this, it's preaching to the converted and people will tell me, oh, I don't know, I've done this, we already know. I've had quite a few people ask me to do it, so... So what will happen now is, when I open this up, Unfortunately, this weeder is not a kebab. It's not going to entice these adult weeds out. They're not going to leave. It just won't work. They bounce back up. Ha ha! You cannot foil me. Absolutely no good whatsoever. And it won't work on an established crop anyway. We already know that. So, let's fold it, lift it, get it out of the way. The only thing we can do now is resort to our sprayer. So those are the two stages of the weeds. You've got the small little shoot green ones and then when we get onto the more established ones they're more colourful, they look kind of like flowers. You know, realistically that's what they look like. Um, and I'll put the lights on on this so we can... They're not as bright as I thought they were going to be. Um, so now we've got our boom sprayer and this is going to go across all three states. This will go across the normal field, it will go across the crops in its first growth stage, and it will also go across the crop that's established. But all three states have got serious weeds in. And serious weeds... Actually, I'm going to do that back again. So I didn't show that enough. I do like that, the way that opens out. I know on some of the ones on FS17, you had the ability, like the SP400F, you could, um, the New Holland, you could do that yourself, open and close them to match kind of rows on fields and that kind of thing. But uh, on this one, this just opens and closes, so I don't even do anything about it. 
and so we are set now I can adjust the boom height on this if I want to up and down depending on the height of the crop if you want a bit more realism it doesn't actually make any difference realistically you can just get on with it so I turn this on now and we'll zoom in a little bit I think if we can get onto one side of this and as you can see the crops this side the crops the weeds are lovely and colorful as you move across behind done with gone they have been removed get out of my pub and just like that they're dealt with our field is happy again I know there's a little bit there I've missed actually just in it for the sake of people telling me off and saying oh you missed a load let's get those done um, and that really is all there is to it um, I, I say that in so much as if you're not running a lot of fields if you haven't got a lot of fields on your map um, I would imagine it's fairly easy to keep up with I have had a few comments people leaving saying they've turned it off already because they're finding having to deal with their fields with all the stages of you know ploughing and then cultivating and fertilising and seeding and planting all all, the, all those stages and then all the other fields they're then having to do they come back and they've their weeds already in there and you know and it's expensive to buy and lease various bits of equipment so some people are turning off some people aren't i think it adds a really cool realism we had weeders in fs17 um but they were they just gave you another fertilizing state so you used them it gave you a fertilizing state but it wasn't really used as a weeder um, whereas this you're actually weeding you're getting rid of them I love the fact you've got two growth stages so you can get rid of them with a weeder when they're in the young stage and then when they get to the adult stage you've then got that you have to use a herbicide to get rid of them it's brilliant this crop will now continue to grow this crop can now be harvested and it won't have any detrimental impact whatsoever um, on the yield I think if you don't touch them and they're still in there it reduces it by is it 15% for each one oh, I missed one anyway something like that but it will have a detrimental effect on your yield if you don't get rid of them and that is it that's weed control I hope you found it useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching